All right, man, summertime weather is starting to roll in and however you're handling this summer, do you. Me personally, whether I'm chilling indoors or I'm outside enjoying the sun on a walk, enjoying mother nature, whatever it is, if I'm wearing summertime clothes, I want them to be on point and something new, something fresh. Everything here is comfortable, easy to wear, gives off a summertime vibe and affordable. So a solid list right here. I thought you guys would enjoy it. These are all essentials to me. I've got a lot of summer content coming, but if you want to see something specific, hit the comment section, let me know exactly what you want to see and make sure you leave a like. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to show you guys five styles, but 10 items total. Two items pretty much in each category, I guess you could say. Enough with all that though, let's do it. Okay, so the most important essential for the summertime is a nice pair of shorts. So we're gonna start things off with the Nike woven shorts in a simple black and white colorway. These shorts are totally different than a lot of the shorts I've shown you in the past. And it's something that you guys, as well as me, are gonna have to get comfortable with if you aren't already. So these hit for $45, which I certainly think is a very reasonable price point. They are a woven material, which kind of looks like a bathing suit. And just the look of it always kind of threw me off, but I'm over it. I got over it and these shorts kind of helped me do that. This is my second pair. So once you get over that this is not a bathing suit and they are casual shorts, that's step one. Step two is that these are very short and wide. So they are baggy short shorts. The inseam I believe is six inches on here, which is really short, but that's the vibe this summer, man. These are the vibe this summer. There's a bunch of different colors. This particular pair is great just because of how simple they are. They've got that classic Nike logo embroidered on the left side. They do have a mesh inner lining and then very similar New Balance has a pair as well. These are in yellow if you want a little bit more of a color pop. The material is slightly different. It's more of a rip stop, but it gives off that same vibe. They are short and then they have a small logo on the left side as well as the right. When you're wearing a t-shirt, you could probably only see the balance and the new is covered, but you know, it's there. These are certainly a little bit more technical with that draw cord on the front. They're slightly nicer than the Nike pair. So short woven shorts are in the building for summer 2020. Let's keep it rolling. All right, and where there are essential shorts, you gotta have essential tees. This is the Carhartt work in progress pocket tee in this cranberry purple color. I love pocket t-shirts and I've spoke about this Carhartt shirt so many times. I'm not even gonna talk long about it, but what makes it so nice for the summer is that it's lighter weight. You know, I like heavyweight t-shirts a lot. I'm about to show you one in a second, but the nice lightweight material on this one right here makes it a little bit more summertime friendly. And then the added detail of the pocket and then the Carhartt patch on top of that, just a summertime staple. I've gotten so many of these and I'm gonna continue to do that. You can get them on sale. I'll be sure to link it for you guys down in the description. Make sure you get a unique color. You know, essentials aren't necessarily always black, navy, gray, white. You have that stuff already. I'm sure you already do. Get a fun color. This one right here, inline Carhartt. This one, work in progress. Here's the difference. Heavyweight, oversized, a little bit more affordable, rugged, lightweight, colorful, slim fitting, a little bit more pricey. And then next, this is the Nike Club T-shirt and this is orange trance. It's kind of like this mango color. These hit for $25. Definitely an affordable option. You can get some of them on sale. This is gonna be a great combo that you will definitely see me wearing. I love just the small, minimal Nike logo here on the left side that's embroidered in there. Quality is average at best. Keep that in mind. You know, you're not gonna get a steal from Nike and have it be good quality. It gets the job done, but don't expect to be wowed. I also got the Nike Club shirt in white, and the only only reason I got this one is because of the Nike logo. There's about 10 different color options. This is the only one I've seen with two different colors on the logo and I just thought it was also unique and kind of gives it a little bit more of a vintage throwback look just with that red swoosh, I don't know, but I went for it, it was cheap, Finish Line was doing a deal, I'll link it for you guys. Next, let's talk about some hats. So I've got two different styles of new era hats here. I'm gonna start with the Red Sox first. I'm constantly looking for the in-between of a fitted hat and a strap back unstructured hat. I finally found it, I don't have it in this video, I'm gonna be releasing it soon under my own brand and I'm, it's so perfect, man, like it is so perfect. I wish I could show you guys the sample right now but it's not done yet. 
You'll see it soon. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see it. Summer, my win summer collection. Couldn't be happier with it. Anyway, New Era has this hat and it's called the 950 Retro Crown Snapback Unstructured from the Heritage Collection. Here is the deal with this. It's unstructured, has that retro vibe with the green under the brim, which is really hard to find. It's got the same type of brim that a fitted cap does. However, the rest of the hat is unstructured, so it does not have that reinforcement underneath the cap like this one does that I'm gonna show you guys in a second. It's really soft. And that right there makes it a lot easier to wear. It's also a snapback, so you can adjust your size. You don't have to worry about getting that fitted cap in and being like, oh, is it gonna fit me? Because they all fit different. They all fit differently. This was actually really hard to find, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to link this for you guys down in the description or not. If I do find it, I will. The only thing I don't like is the New Era logo there. I don't mind logos on the side of the hats. Like that's where I put mine. I actually prefer it. However, I just never have liked the New Era logo. Is that weird? For some reason, I just think baseball hats look so much better without that New Era logo right there. Let me know if you guys agree. So the fit is different. It's got like a mid fit as opposed to this fitted cap, which I might as well talk about right now. So this is a Milwaukee Brewers retro classic fitted cap. It's a 5950 model, but what makes this different than the on-field caps that you see at lids when you walk in there, all those new era hats, for the most part, they are on-field caps. Here's a few quick differences. White headband, gray under the brim, and they are 100% wool. The best part about them being wool is the fact that they will shrink. I actually prefer that. I want my hats to shrink. You get that better fit when they shrink up just a little bit. I'll show you guys how to do that soon. I know I've been talking about doing a video about how to make your hats fit better. I will. Trust me, it's on my radar. I just haven't done it. This one in particular, I just liked that throwback glove logo of this Brewers hat. I didn't have it, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So refresh your hat game this summer. More cap content soon, I promise. Next, let's get into the kicks. First, very briefly, this box should give away what they are. I grabbed another pair of the classic Air Max 90s, this OG rendition that they've done so well. Nike props. These are great. This is really one of the best shoes that you can pick up this summer. Air Max 90 volts. There's a bunch of different colors that you can choose from. I like the materials on here, the comfort, the fit, the look, the shape, really. This is just an absolute home run by Nike. This box though, not so much of a home run. It's very narrow and they hardly fit. Not a big deal though. The neon hits of this shoe just scream summer. And because it's a classic, it makes it essential. This is a little bit of a loud sneaker, but not by much. The gray, the white, and the black, they kind of offset that. Even though these are vibrant, it's not a statement sneaker. You could wear these every single week if you wanted to. And you can still get them. Don't sleep on these because once they're gone, you're gonna have to pay resale prices. When Nike shoes go away, there's a little bit of a weight and then prices go up. It happens all the time. And then next, let me tell you guys something. Let me just talk real quick about this shoe. You've never seen these on YouTube. I don't think there's any videos. I haven't seen anyone wearing them. I haven't seen anyone talking about them. I'm shocked. This is one of the cleanest Nike sneakers to release this year. I literally just stumbled across them and was like, whoa, 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 what's up with those? One of the cleanest Nike sneakers of the year, man. I'm telling you. So we got the Nike Vapor X TC knit. Here's the deal with this shoe. For one, that is my definition of clean. I see people throw out the term clean all the time. There could be some crazy shoe with 10 different colors on it and people would be like, oh, that's so clean. Fine. Maybe that's your definition of clean. In my opinion, this is it. Something that is predominantly one color, which is usually white, and then a little bit of an accent color. Like that right there, doesn't get much cleaner. Now there's a different colorway on this shoe. There's only two different colorways that I've seen so far. The other is a hot lava colorway and they are not nearly as good in my opinion. They're on sale, you can get those half off. A lot of you will recognize that sole. 
it is the same exact outsole that's on the Nike Yeezy 2. It's originally from the Andre Agassi Air Tech Challenge 2, but a lot of you will recognize it from the Nike Yeezy sneaker. So the combination of white and phantom gray on here is perfect. It really looks like an off-white or a cream color. And then it's got this fly knit material. It's got that Nike court patch, which I love. I can't dive too deep into these, but if you want them, I'll link them down below. They fit true to size and they're on sale. Okay, and then last up, the one accessory that completes all of my outfits. In the summertime, if you see me wearing shorts, you also see me wearing crew socks. So I went ahead and grabbed two different colors of the Jordan dry fit socks and they're exactly what I'm looking for. If you're going to wear crew socks, they also have to be pretty good quality and somewhat thick. Thin crew socks, no good, at least in my opinion. The dry fit material on these Jordan socks kind of offsets that. It's 22 bucks for a three pack, which is a little bit pricey. For some reason, no one wants to break the bank on socks. They see that you can get 12 pairs for like 10 bucks of the gold toes, and you're like, okay, I, that's all I need. I'm not gonna spend $22 on a three pack. But man, it makes all the difference. They last longer, they look better, they're more comfortable, it's worth the investment. And then also I got something from Tommy Hilfiger. These are by far my favorite socks. They're the perfect height, it's the perfect material. They've got that classic Tommy logo on both sides. They're a little bit more affordable than the Jordan socks, so I stack up on them. I've been wearing these a long time and they've held up, especially after a lot of washing. They haven't pilled, they haven't gotten holes in them, they haven't fallen apart. I also went ahead and grabbed a pair of their quarter length and this is new for me. I really don't wear socks that are at this height. I'll occasionally, very rarely wear no-shows, so we'll see if these come into play. Typically, if I want a sock this height, I just kind of push down the crew socks. So we'll see. So make sure your sock game is not lacking this summer. Same thing with the shorts, same thing with the tees, same thing with your hats and your clean footwear. All of that has got to be looking right this summer. Let me know what you guys are wearing. Make sure you hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. A lot of summer content is on the way. If you have any questions about any of this, feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.